Well, welcome to my channel. I am doing the third of my 31 days of Halloween looks. Today I did a patched skin look um, that is pretty easy to recreate on yourself at home, maybe for Halloween. And I'm glad you stopped by to check out my tutorial. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram at MUA Meredith and on Facebook at MUA Meredith K. All of the products I use today will be listed in the description below. Thanks for stopping by and I hope you enjoy my tutorial. Now it's time to sew some more skin. do it. I forgot the thread. <laughs> okay, let's get started. First, you want to map out what areas you want to do um, your patched skin. And you can do, do that with any kind of eyeliner or whatever you have to mark your skin with. Um, next you want to get out your silicone. I used third degree. Please make sure that you use your mixtures in equal parts or it will not set up right. Um, after you do that, you just wanna outline each of your patches with the silicone. Make sure you blend those edges. First, I thought I would um, add the stitching while the silicone was wet, but as you will see as the tutorial goes on, it didn't actually work very well. And these stitches are actually just pieces of yarn that I unraveled and cut into small pieces. <clears throat> they didn't really stick and I didn't consider the fact that I needed to color the inside of the patch in the edges of the patch so wait and don't put your stitches on till after you do everything else so to color my patches I used Mayron HD Pro Celebre foundation and I just used the, they have a palette that has a bunch of different colors of foundation in it, and I just picked a couple of colors um, from the palette to use just to make it look like it was different people's skin. <clears throat> now, when you manage to make sure that you um, don't have anything on your sponge or brush because I got a little black on mine, but hey, what are you going to do? Okay, next I used the Ben Nye Bruise Wheel, and I took the red and put it all over um, my skin where I wanted it to be the parts of the skin that were um, raw and didn't have skin on them. And then I took a little liquid latex from Mayron as well, and I just kind of patted that on just to give it some texture underneath, kind of like your, your skin would be underneath if you pulled your top layer of skin off. And then I decided... Um, that I needed some cotton obviously to make that tear so that there was a defined line for the tear and I covered that with liquid latex. So next I just got some eyelash glue and I glued on the stitches. So once all those were on I took some more um, cotton and just because I wanted more texture than I had just from using the latex. So I added more cotton just to give it like a rough, lumpy feel to make it extra gross. 
Then I took the darker color in the bruise wheel and outlined all the patches just to give them some dimension so that they actually look like they were raised from the face and not fully connected yet. It just always gives it that extra gross factor. Then I went in with the dark around the pieces of cotton that I latexed on my face just to also give it some dimension so you could really tell it was raised. And then I went back in with a lighter color after and did it on the top pieces so they kind of like were highlighted and it just really gave it that extra something to make it nice and gross. Who doesn't like a little grossness? Yeah, you don't want to eat it either. Right in my mouth. So I stepped off camera just to put my contact in because I have a really hard time putting contacts in, which really sucks, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Next, I used my Melt Black eyeshadow. I believe the name of the color is Dark Matter just to add some depth in to the face. Next I got out my Dark Venomous Blood from Mayron Makeup and added it to give it a nice wet bloody feel. Just ooh, so gross. I love it. You want to just get it all in there so it looks nice and ripped and gross. Everybody loves blood, especially on Halloween. Yes! Look at all the nasty blood. Next, I just wanted to pull out some pieces so you could see the like skin hanging to make it extra lovely. And there you go. There is your patched skin look. You can do it at home and scare the hell out of people. Ha, 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 ha.